Let's talk about patty cakes. Mr. Yeah, let's Avery. do it. Um, patty yeah. cakes. What is going on in your this life? This is about a uh, lady rapper, correct? It is about a lady lady rapper. It uh, it's about a young twenty three year old who uh, lives in New Jersey, mm-hmm. and is now has, based on a true story or not based I, on a true it's, story? I don't think it's based on a true story. Okay. Uh, I mean, of course it is. There's so, how many. <laughs> There's like how many rappers have this sort of story, but uh, you know she's uh, she's rapper. She's very good at it, but you know she's struggling with the, her real life circumstance. You know she lives with her her mom, who's sort of like a former singer back in her day, and kind of just a drunk now. And and uh, they're barely keeping her grandmother alive, who's kind of sick, but just living with you know that thing. And and. Um, yeah, it's about this young lady's kind of struggle. To, she idolizes this one rapper, and so kind of she's just working and trying to get out of New Jersey and make it as a rapper. And she's got this friend, Jerry, uh, who's a South Asian guy who works at a pharmacy near her, and he kind of is that guy who sings the hooks on all the song. He looks ridiculous, but then when you – and he even kind of sounds ridiculous at first, and then when you hear him in the music, it's like, oh, I see. Okay, this is – you know, <laughs> and she's great. And um, Kevin, can I interrupt you for a second? Sure. I just um, noticed that uh, Brenton was texting. I just wanted to make sure we were still recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, I'm glad you were worried. It was like a panic text. Right. Like the yeah. <laughs> <went down. laughs> One right. drop of sweat coming down. His oh, brow. dude, can I get a water too? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, but that uh, won't be edited out. It. Uh, well, I'm not. Why would you do that? that? No way. This is this gold. Is, this is the reality of. Uh, I'm good. I have one right here. Thanks. Okay. Um, but if you have like a cheese plate, uh, any kind of charcuterie, <laughs> bring that out. Thank you. But you have um, a hand spun hummus. <laughs> yeah. Could you bring that and a tapenade? Uh, and where's the chocolate fountain? Come on, guys, for Christ's sake. I think that's the first time we've used the word tapenade on the show. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Over 400 episodes, that's the first one market. First ever tapenade. Oh, and man. And chocolate fountain. I think I want to say that. Um, oh, cho- yeah. Chocolate Third. fountain, my rap name. Uh, <laughs> uh, incidentally. Um, but it's it's yeah so it's kind of it's I loved it, um, and part of that is because um, I used to be a rapper myself. What, wait, I'm sorry. I'm right, sorry. I, I, I feel like we I, talked about this before. Have we? I don't. Well, here's it the feels thing. like a tapenade to me. <laughs> <laughs> well. I w- yeah I mean I used to uh, I used to be fancy myself an MC, and, uh, and your actual name was it was it was <laughs> actually it was Kevy Ray Supreme. <laughs> and then if I there's sh- a God in heaven, there's video of this on <laughs> yes. the internet. If there is a sweet baby Jesus that uh, lives no, up, no, I'm sure there's not. <laughs> I don't know. There's vi- yeah. There is a video somewhere. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where to find it. I, locked well, in a vault. But uh, somewhere. locked in a vault somewhere. We need to yeah. get a hold of this. I think it's uh, it's probably uh, we need Area bonus. 51 yeah. type of shit. <laughs> type like 9 yeah. millimeter Sealed away. type. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, that, it Million dollar supreme. reward to anyone who can <laughs> win this. <laughs> <laughs> if I find it, do I get the million dollars? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> See you next week, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was Kevy Ray Supreme. That was because you had back. Back in the day, back. you had it was just my back name in the rap day. Initial, Go ahead. Initials, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kevin Randolph Avery. So some girl came up with this, Kevy Ray, and then but you kind of had to have a title too. Who like came Dream up with Supreme? Flash, and, so that was me. Oh, nice. I was course. into the Transformers at the time. Oh, so Omega so Supreme. So like Optimus Prime, Omega Supreme. All right. So I was Kevy Ray I got Supreme. You. There you this go. Is, yeah. What age was Kevy? This Ray was Supreme? 80s. This oh, had to be God. 80s. This is fifth, fourteen. Younger, I think, because I was going to, I was at Disneyland or Disney World when I wrote like my first rhyme. And I was like a child. The mean I wrote it on the tram. The mean streets of Disney <laughs> was really inspiring. Look, you to speak. Mickey. Look, uh, I Mickey Mouse was hardcore. Okay, those, <laughs> those uh, <laughs> Disney streets is real. Uh, God, you must have uh, yeah. seen some shit on those trams. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, man. Yeah. Old lady uh, getting getting sick, uh, dehydrated, you know, um, baby crying. Wouldn't stop. <gasps> Sounds uh, like the reason why you just left Manhattan. Yeah. So. Um, anyway, Kevy Ray Supreme. Kevy Ray Supreme. And then we shortened it to Kevy Ray. And then it just became K-Ray. 
And uh, and, and by the time it was K Ray, I was in the singing group. <laughs> I was in the boy band, and so I went from rapper to boy band. Guy. You were in a boy band. I was in a boy band. Yeah, I had a whole thing for a while. It was comedy was not even. It was I was going down music alley. You were going mm-hmm. down comedy. You just didn't know it. I, well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Shaping my future ass. <laughs> uh, you were wholeheartedly yeah. into comedy, just unknowingly. <laughs> Voice in the back of my head while I'm singing, this is going to be hilarious <laughs> in 15 years. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so I really identified with this. Um, I mean, I didn't struggle and come up in New Jersey, but the uh, the idea of kind of everyone, all of them trying to kind of escape and become who they really are it was it like shades of like a female eight mile kind of it was a little bit except Mm -hmm. it felt i I love eight mile Mm -hmm. but eight mile compared to this almost felt a little bit more by the numbers in terms of that type of story right and i and i don't mean to say that eight mile is just some cookie cutter kind of thing because i i don't think it is i really loved eight Mm -hmm. mile but this almost felt i mean they were there were shades of that it's hard to to tell this type of story and d- go where it goes and not kind of have that sort of, and then this happens and then, you know, but it really was kind of refreshing and it was the, the, the characters and the kind of um, push and pull on what this girl, the you know, here's, uh, I succeed and then, oh, we're going to take this shit away. And the, like, you're watching her kind of have a victory, another victory, and then suddenly, bam, she's thrown back. Like, it was just, I enjoyed the script. I enjoyed the story so much. Her performance, the the woman is um, Danielle McDonald, and uh, she's great in it. She's done it. She's been around. She's done a few things. But this Bridget Everett, who plays her mom, is also pretty great. And I, I feel like she's only been in a, well, she's been in some stuff. It's the, I'm going to butcher this guy's name, but the guy who plays Jerry, Siddharth, uh, uh, Kevy Ray Supreme, Kevy Ray Supreme, <laughs> Siddharth <laughs> Kevy Ray Supreme, uh, Don and Jay, I believe is his name, and he's I think he's relatively like new to the scene, right? But everyone's really great in it, and, and the performances are kind of fun. And again, kind of a first time director, this guy Jeremy Jasper, according to his IMDb, has just done a couple of shorts. This yeah. is his first feature, um, but yeah, so you saw you liked it. It was a, and it's got it's gotten a, it's been a, a fairly not a fully wide release, but. It's, I'm seeing it yeah. in enough places. Well, the, a lot of people have been talking about this Danielle McDonald uh, woman and who uh, who's who does a great job in it. And she, I don't know if, if someone wrote shit for her and then she just learned how to perform it really well or if she can actually freestyle, if she could really rap, but oh, she wow. sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, the uh, hats off to her or whoever the lyricist is because uh, she sounds great and... Um, yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun movie. It's it's sort of gut punching sometimes, you know. And um, so but it's also there's some serious moments to it. There's, there's some, some, yeah. It's it's the comedy is great because it's it really is born. And maybe this sounds like a cliche to say, but it's really born out of a lot of the situations that this woman finds herself in mm-hmm. and what she does and and stuff. It's so it's not slapstick or kind of it's not goofy. Um, but yeah, it's great. I would highly recommend it. All right. All right. Patty Cakes. Patty Cakes. My shot first. Kitten heads across the land. 